DRM encryption is plaguing ATSE 3.0 stations all across America. At the time of recording, around 20% of the available ATSE 3.0 channels on the air in the United States have DRM encryption, and that 20% comes from the same few broadcasters. These broadcasters are Gray Television, Hearst Communications, the EW Scripps Company, Tegna, Televisa, Univision, NBC Universal, and Paramount. Global. These broadcasters have either all or a majority of their ATSE 3.0 channels encrypted with DRM. Now, there's reports that Nexstar just started implementing DRM encryption with KARK and BC in Little Rock, Arkansas. For now, this seems to be the only Nexstar channel that has DRM encryption. If you have an ATSE 3.0 channel with DRM encryption in your area, at the time of recording, it's coming from one of these companies. Now, there are also many broadcasters who haven't implemented DRM encryption. These broadcasters are Nexstar Media Group, besides KARK, Sinclair Broadcast Group, PBS Member Broadcasters, Fox Corporation, The Walt Disney Company, Allen Media Group, Hubbard Broadcasting, Cox Media Group, Graham Media Group, Franken FM broadcasters, and low power TV broadcasters, among others. Even if some of these broadcasters decide to implement DRM encryption later on, I applaud them for at least holding out until this DRM encryption mess is settled. Right now, all external set top boxes that do support DRM encryption require an internet connection. I guess certain companies don't care if your internet goes out during a natural disaster, prohibiting you from accessing their broadcast. Now, the A3SA or ATSC 3.0 Security Authority lists all of the licensees on their website. If a broadcaster's name is listed here, there's a good chance that they will probably end up implementing DRM encryption on their ATSC 3.0 broadcasts in the future. These broadcasters include the Walt Disney Company, Paramount Global, Cox Media Group, Fox Corporation, Graham Media Group, Gray Television, Hearst Communications, NBC Universal, Nexstar Media Group, the EW Scripps Company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, Tegna, Televisa, Univision, and Berkshire Hathaway. Not listed are broadcasters like Hubbard Broadcasting, Allen Media Group, any Franken FM broadcasters, any low power TV broadcasters, or any PBS member broadcasters. This means it's possible that none of these broadcasters and many others will adopt DRM encryption on their ATSC 3.0 broadcasts. The reason why only 20% of ATSC 3.0 channels in the United States have DRM encryption is because the majority of ATSC 3.0 channels come from Sinclair and Nexstar. If Sinclair and Nexstar decide to implement DRM encryption on their ATSC 3.0 channels, overnight a majority of the ATSC 3.0 channels in the United States would be laced with DRM encryption. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.